Okay, well now, we're now going to compute the variance and standard deviation for a geometric random variable. And remember that a geometric random variable gives a waiting time. It's the number of trials you have to wait for something to happen. So, um, the possible values are the positive integers. Okay, and it might be you really have to wait um, as long as you could imagine. So, we'll, we'll have all the positive integers and it doesn't get cut off somewhere. And the probability that x is k under this geometric distribution, well, it involves a parameter p, which is the probability that the event occurs in one trial. And it's 1 minus p to the k minus 1. That's the probability that it, the event did not occur in the first, um, first k minus 1 trials times p, the probability that it did occur on that last kth trial. And we've seen that the expectation of a geometric random variable is 1 over p. Now we're going to compute the variance, and we're going to have to use Wolfram Alpha for this one. And remember that the variance is the expectation of the random variable minus its mean squared. Okay, So that means we sum over all the possible values of the random variable, in this case I'm going from 1 to infinity, of that value k minus the mean, in this case 1 over p, squared, okay, times the probability that x was equal to k. So we got times 1 minus p to the k minus 1 times p. And this one is a pain in the neck to do by hand. It's I don't think it's one of those computations that's particularly beautiful. It's instead um, just sort of long and messy. Makes you put in, makes you feel like you put in a full day's work when you do this one by hand, but we're going to do it with Wolfram Alpha, so it won't be quite as nasty for us. Okay, so let me pull up Wolfram Alpha here. And we're going to sum my value k minus the expectation of a geometric random variable squared, because we're doing the standard deviation, or excuse me, we're doing the variance. Uh, times 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times p. And we're summing from k equals 1 to infinity. I'll press enter. And Wolfram Alpha shows us that the variance for a geometric random variable is 1 minus p over p squared. Okay, I'm going to go back to the blackboard here. variance is 1 minus p over p squared. And then the standard deviation would just be the square root of that. So I'll just do the square root of the numerator and denominator separately, and the denominator is going to be p, since I know that that p um, has to be non-negative, as with 1 minus p. Okay, so that's the variance of standard deviation for a geometric random variable.